Hello guys, Elliot here, and welcome back to another review. Today we'll be reviewing set number 70435, the new Barry Abandoned Prison. This set has 400 pieces, came out September 1st in the United States, and retails for $39.99, so the price per piece is just exactly on point. You get four minifigures and two dogs, and one possessed figure. Now, this is from Lego Hidden Side, a theme I don't collect, when it did come out last year, I did buy it. And what's interesting is this is the first time I've bought a Lego Hidden Side set since August of 2019. So I haven't bought a Lego Hidden Side for over a year. But without a further ado, let's see if I get back into the theme. And I probably will since the theme is going to sadly go away. But without further ado, let's take a look at those minifigures. The first minifigure you get in the set, and the first one we'll take a look at it is El Fuego as a skeleton. I actually have him as a normal person, but this is the exact same figure that we got in the biplane set, which is another hidden side set I really want. It just has one of the spongy capes, the same face print, and the same helmet they've been using since last year. So pretty basic figure here, but I guess it's just like a filler. Next figure we get is Jack, and I think this is the 2020 Jack. I mean, I don't have any of the 2020 hidden side sets. I just have 2019. It's my first 2020 head inside set. But taking a look at him here, he has the exact same leg and torso printing. Looks like Lego made him a hood, which I probably will take off after this review to make a custom array figure. He has a brand new face print, I think, or it's the exact same one they used last year. And he has this new uh, dual molded hat with hair and uh, a red cap, which they've been using since January, I think. That's it for this figure, pretty neat, and a first in my collection. The next minifigure, I don't know what his name is, but it is this just random civilian, and he's very nice. He looks very similar to a figure we get in the set, and I'm pretty sure this is the sick fig of the designer. He has some exclusive legs with some printing on the belt, of a belt. Brand new torso with a, looks like a puffy jacket, and then or a puffy vest, and then a purple, little shirt in there he has two expressions one where he's happy and <clears throat> another one where he's frightened and then he just has the spiky hair and blonde pretty neat figure here and especially since he's exclusive let's take a look at the last figure and the last figure is one of those people that can become the ghouls or not and this is the uh officer so he has an exclusive leg print and torso print with just a fur coat and just some keys and a key card there. Has some back printing that says security at the back there. Then he his accessory is this uh, radio or this walkie-talkie. And you can either have him as a ghoul or you can have him as just a normal uh, person there. I prefer him as the ghoul, but yeah, pretty neat little s figure here. I, I don't really know. Not much to say about these ghoulified figures. And then you get two dogs in this set. You get a chihuahua and you get Spencer. So Spencer is nothing too interesting. The same one we've gotten since last year. But this is a new, uh, it's not a new mold, but it is a new uh, color for the chihuahua. And he looks very cute here. He has some new printing and it again is a new color for the chihuahua. And that's Really, it for the figures of this set. Let's take a look at the build, which is actually much bigger than I thought it would be. So just showing you the size of this thing, here's the entire build. And as you can see, it doesn't even fit entirely on camera. That's how big it is. That's my studio. So it's a big set. And we're going to take a look of it's worth the $40. But let's take a look at this build finally. Taking a look at the left of the build first, we have this spinning thing. This is to coincide with the app with two stickers around it. Lots of stickers in this set. As you can see, you can spin this around. And it's supposed to coincide with the app, like I said, but and I, I never really liked those. On the left here, we have the first prison room. And this uses some nice olive green, gray, and orange, which continues on the entirety of the build. We have this sticker here. And then you can slide this door open just like this to reveal some interior, which you can access from the back here. And inside is a, just a little bed right here with some red. So you can fit a prisoner in there. 
Again, this is abandoned, so if you're going to want to put this with prisoners, you're going to have to get your own from your own collection. Here we have this little watchtower, and there is some barriers here. The watchtower is on one of these spinning plates, because there's a play feature. It's just like, reminds me of that Jurassic World set we got a couple of years back. And you can fit a figure in there if you want. As you can see, it does spin around. And basically the play feature with it is, of course, this is a hidden side, so you can make it a ghoulified build. So just turn this around and click this and two with three claws pop up. And the same thing is for this watchtower, looking at it here. The exact same sticker and build, just no roof and just the lights and you can put a figure in. But just twist that around and you have two hands here. In the middle at the top, we just have space for some minifigures and some stairs. So you really can fit a lot of figures in this set. Down here we have some stickers that say keep out and a little bell. We have the door of the prison, which is very nice. And then we have this thing here. You can flip these up to reveal two eyes. And then if you open the door, you have two claws here. And then a ball joint at the top here. This mouth comes down and it becomes this entire ghoul right here. So that's pretty neat. But if you want to make it just a normal looking build, just put these back at the top there. Put this up, put these down, and then really just take those off the build and then just close it up like that. But that's it for the middle section here. This also has interior, but we'll take a look at the interior at the end. The right has another cell, nothing too interesting going on, exact same build. And we'll take a look at the interior later, but the door slides out like that. We already looked at the top here. And all the way at the right, we have a palm tree build. And we have a little basketball hoop with a basketball down here. And then just a little branch and a space for a figure. Looking at the interior, we looked at the right. So here at the left, we have the other cell, which has some weird rod and a frog. And in the, on the box, it shows El Fuego holding up the rod. So I guess he, they went there to get that rod for a specific reason. And that's it for the interior on the left. The middle section with the most interior is pretty big here with nothing too interesting. We have the ball joint at the top, of course, where you can pull down the teeth of the build to make it the ball. That's on a ball, ball joint again. Here we have two beams with some stickers, one with a newspaper, another one with a wanted sign. Here we have a toilet with some purple toilet paper. And inside the toilet is actually a very disgusting feature. Um, there is a one by one yellow stud to simplify that someone took a pee, took a piss. So yay, potty humor Lego. That's just what we needed. And then at the left here with more minifigure space just, and then at the left we have a little bottle here and then a cabinet that opens up to show a new color for the banana and this very strange tan almost. So this, who knows how long this banana's been in here, but that goes just in there. And you can close that back up. So that is it for the build of the set. Let's take a look at the final version. So is this set worth $40? In my opinion, it is. Price per piece is on point, especially with these big molds and stuff like that. Lots of stickers, which isn't very nice, but I feel like those provide some key details Great minifigure selection, and this is a great set, even if you don't even collect head inside. Uh, but definitely, I won't be keeping it like this, so I'll definitely be modifying it to make it Arkham Asylum, because, like I said, I'm getting back into Batman, so make a purpose of this, because I probably won't use it as a qualified thing. But let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of this set. Do you like it? And I, if you guys are on the verge about it, I strongly encourage you guys to get it. I hope you have $40 to dispose but hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next review or video peace out